Hi, this is Hardik from Aiming for the Technologies. A warm welcome to all the viewers. This session is dedicated to the demonstration video of Kodu Amazon Connector, which helps in synchronizing the data such as products, sales orders, and stock inventory between Kodu system and Amazon. During this session, we will try to understand the basic feature of Amazon Connector, and during that, we will try to drill down through these points that's Amazon Instance, Browse Node, Product Preparation and Export. So let's start with the Amazon. Now, so an instance referred to a seller account in Amazon for a particular country. And this connector facilitates us to configure such multiple seller account for multiple countries supported by Amazon. So for the demonstration, we have configured an instance over here. Let's get into the detail of it and try to understand it. Here we will try to understand the fields listed on the screen. We will start with the name, that is the name of the instance, Emicro Technologies. Next is the country of which this seller account belongs to. Next is the warehouse, which is responsible for fulfilling the inventory for the sales order created. The default customer. Now, during the sales order synchronization, whatever customer information is found in the, in, the, in the sales order, those will be treated as a contact under this customer specified over here in the system. Next is the auto workflow. Auto workflow suggests the transition of which all different phases of sales order will take place automatically. So, let's get into the detail of it. So the options listed over here, if selected, will be executing automatically over here if selected. Besides it, we have shipping policy and invoice policy been configured. Next is the language. Now the contact created under this customer will be having this language specified as a default languages. So the delivery orders and the invoices will always be in this language specified over here for that sales order. Next is the authentication, the seller account details. Now these are my credentials or my keys to unlock my seller account. So that's the access key, marketplace ID, secret key and a merchant ID. Moving on, product advertising account details. So using these credentials, I will be able to access my products in Amazon. Next, that is order configuration. Over here, order prefix suggests me that this, the name of the sale order created will be having this phase as their prefix. And the product info, shipment fee. Now, during a sales order synchronization, if any of the information related to shipment is found, then by configuring my sales order, I will be using this product to identify the shipment fees. Same equation applies to gift wrapper fee and promotion discount. Beneath that, that's the stock info. Now, in an Odoo system, you can identify the stock of a product by quantity on hand or virtual quantity. Now, the field configured over here will identify that which stock will be updated to Amazon from Odoo system. So here that's the forecasted quantity. Next is other information. In this section particularly, we will be focusing on the price list. So during the updation of prices from an Odoo system to Amazon, this price list will be used. Next is browse node. We will be coming on to the browse node in a while. Next is the products. These are the products which are exported, already exported to Amazon for this instance. So here none of the products yet been exported to Amazon for this instance. Now at the top you can find some of the buttons being listed here. We will try to understand export inventory that is when you hit this button the stock from the Odoo system will be updated to Amazon for this instance. Next is import sales order. That means the 
orders in the Amazon for this instance will be imported to portal system. Update order status. The order status from Odoo system will be updated to Amazon by hitting this button over here. Now the first one that's the import based browse node will be coming on to it in a while. So this was all about the Amazon instance. Now we are moving ahead to the browse node. Browse node. In simpler term I can say as the product category from Amazon. So these are the base browse node list from Amazon for this instance for a, a particular country and that in our case is Germany. There can be a single category or can be the hierarchy of category for a particular category or the subcategory of a category. If I take the example of this category beauty over here then scrolling down I can find that the list of subcategory and the hierarchy of category for this product beauty over here. For fetching the, all the subcategories for a category or the browse node I just select it go to more and import browse node that means hitting this option will fetch up all my subcategories for the category selected over here. Now Let's get into the detail of it. For the demonstration, we have configured the browse node electronics over here. So that's the name of the browse node electronics. Next, the instance that means to which instance this browse node belongs to, that's the micro technologies. Next one is the Amazon category code. A parent browse node, that means if this get browse node belongs or comes under any parent category or a node, you can just specify it over here. Next one, a very important Odoo category. So this is my category in my Odoo system and we are mapping this category to the browse node of Amazon so that we can identify the products which are needed to be exported to Amazon. Now, so our aim will be to export the products from my Odoo system to Amazon. Now there are several ways to do this. Let's do them one by one. For the demonstration, we have selected the category electronics over here. I selected more and you can find the option prepare product for export. Now when I say prepare, that means a ready to export stage. That means still the products are yet not been exported to Amazon but got listed under the Amazon list of products. So I click on more, I go to prepare product. So before we hit the prepare product for export, let's have a look at the products uh, which we will be exporting for or which we will be preparing for Amazon lists. So here are my three products under my electronics category. I go to Amazon product listing. My product count over here is 55. Now when I hit this button, that will prepare my product for Amazon. So let's now have a look at the Amazon products. So my product count gets increased to 58 from 55. Let's have a look at it. Yes, this is my, these are my products for the electronics category from Odoo system been listed under Amazon products. Still, these products are not been exported to Amazon. So, you can edit the details of these products and then we can export them to Amazon. Now, that was the first way from the browse node to prepare the product for Amazon. Now, let's have a look at two. The second method of preparing a product for Amazon, I want to instance, I select the Amazon instance, I click on more, I get the option prepare product for export. So same, again the same functionality, you can do it from Amazon instance. The third way I go to sales, I select the product. So this is a listing of the products in my Odoo system. 
I can select the products independently and I click on more. I get the option prepare product for export. So this was the third way by which we can prepare product for Amazon. Now we will try to get into the details of product of the Amazon. So as we said earlier that we are preparing a product, not exporting. That means this product just got listed under the Amazon products. And now before exporting, you can edit the details of it. So let's try to understand the fields on the screen over here. The instance, that means to which instance this product belongs to, that's the Amico Technologies. And important stuff over here, that's the fixed stock type. That means during the stock updation for this product where whether a fixed value of stock should be updated to the amazon or a percentage of a stock will be should be updated to amazon is configured over here next is the amazon images a wonderful feature of this connector is updating the image or adding up the image in the Amazon. So you can just specify the URL over here and from there all the images, you can specify the multiple images over here and all those images will be updated here in your Amazon. Next is features and search terms. Yet another wonderful feature that's the search term. So here you can enter up the search phrase a search item which you think that your customer or the customer will enter up to search a product in Amazon. If the search term of customer matches with the phrase specified over here, then your product gets listed in the search list of the products in Amazon for that customer. Next is the product features. You can list out independent features or the exclusive features of this product over here which will, will get listed in the Amazon while the product is being shown in the Amazon. Next is the description and disclaimer. So a brief description of this product can be specified over here. Also if there is any legal disclaimer for this product you can just specify it over here. So, once my details are ready, I can just select this product, I click on more and export products in Amazon. So, all those products you just selected, click on more and export product to Amazon. Once the product gets exported to Amazon, you can find the flag being marked as export in, exported in Amazon. Also, Along with the other options, uh, two more options or uh, two more utilities which we can use it is update images in Amazon or update price in Amazon. That means there are if there are certain products which are already been updated or been added in your Amazon, you can update their images or their prices from here. So this was the detail of a product for Amazon. Now let's a quick look at the sales order which has been synchronized from Amazon to Odoo system. So here you can see as we described earlier that the customer information which is found from the sale order from Amazon that will be treated as the contact information under this customer Amazon over here. Also you can get to know for which instance this sale order has been created. And you can get the information about the price list configured. Beneath that, these are the order lines which have been synchronized from Amazon to Odoo system. So, in this session, we understood the Amazon instance, we understood the browse node, we understood the different ways to prepare a product for Amazon, we got into the detail of the products, 
we, we try to list out the feature of products such as exporting the product to Amazon, updating the images in Amazon, and updating the price in Amazon. So that was all about the Amazon connector. Thank you very much for listening. For more information, you can contact us as info at the red Thank you very much.